Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am in LA, the heart of California, home to Hollywood, good weather and an amazing coastline. But there is so much more to LA than meets the eye. The multicultural and diverse population is what makes LA so interesting and vibrant. It's a melting pot of hard-working people from all around the world that come here to make the good life. And in this video, we are going to be exploring LA, its surroundings over five days. And along the way, give you some guidelines if you want to visit LA someday. This video is part of a bigger series where we are road tripping 5,500 kilometers or as the Americans would say it, 3,400 miles across majority of the US West Coast. Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Grand Canyon, Monument Valley, Antelope Canyon, Zion National Park, Death Valley, Big Sur, San Francisco, Yosemite National Park and Lake Tahoe. It's one big mammoth of a road trip. So make sure to check out the playlist to experience the classical American road trip. Anyways, put on your headphones and let's get this video started. Hey guys, good morning. Time over is 7.22 a.m. First video of US series on Kaswagate. Palm trees will be seen and you guys know this is LA. This is my trip ka first video hai, and we are going to be spending 5 days in LA. Warner Brothers, Universal, Disneyland, Venice Beach, Hollywood area, everything. Okay, I am super excited to spend 5 days here. We are waiting in this area called Pasadena. It's a suburb in uh, LA. Rates are like mad. Okay, like sub jaga pe central mein, uh, rates are really really expensive and right now in the US where inflation bhi hai. So we are looking at cheaper options. Yeah, pe Pasadena me acha sa ek lodge hai. Bas sunrise ke liye utha me and magical magical sunrise na morning me orange color ka tha pura sky. Very beautiful. So yeah, chalo let's get this video started and take you around Los Angeles. So before we go ahead with the video, I just want to tell you that I'm planning a subscriber trip where you will be able to come with me to take such trips. It'll be so much fun for all of us to travel together because this community that we have formed here have subscribed for a particular reason. They either like the videos we make or the philosophy or style of our travel. Offbeat places, unique and local experiences. It will basically be a very niche group of like-minded people. But to plan this trip, I will need some information from your end. When would you like to go? Where would you like to go? How much would you like to spend? Stuff like that. That's why I have linked a survey from here in the description. It'll just take two minutes to fill, but it'll really help me to plan this entire thing. If there are more than one of you who will be joining, make sure both of you or three of you fill up so that will help me generate more data and gather more information for this trip. Really looking forward to see all your responses and traveling together. Anyways, let's continue with the video. So while you are enjoying the morning drone shots, let me give you some basic information about LA so that you are oriented with the city and it will be easier for you to understand how to go about it when you come and visit. First of all, you need to understand that LA is massive and most probably you will start your journey from LAX, which is the airport code for Los Angeles International Airport. Unless you are part of a guided tour, the best way to get around LA or for that matter majority of the United States is by a rental car. Public transport is practically non-existent here. Metros and buses do run in some areas, but as a tourist, public transport won't get you to places you want to see quickly or with ease. So that is what we did. We rented a car and like I already showed you, stayed in this area called as Pasadena. This suburb is very developed and safe, but it's far away from the majority of the places we wanted to visit. If I had to redo it, I would like to have stayed in downtown area, but mind you, it is very expensive. That's why we had to settle for Pasadena. Anyways, our first stop on day one was Warner Brothers Studios. First time driving on the highways of LA, very intimidating but too much fun. If you guys have ever played GTA 5, you will be very familiar with LA. And retrospectively thinking, they have done such a good job in GTA 5 as they have copied LA to every single building. Sorry for geeking you out, but LA is the home of entertainment, television and movies and there is no better way to start your journey than Warner Brothers Studios. Tickets can be bought online and I highly recommend you buy them before as lines are everywhere in the US and you do not want to be wasting time in the line. We had the Studio Tour Plus that includes a breakfast at the studio and lunch at the French Central Perk coffee place. 
all you friends and big bang theory fans are going to go mad with what i'm about to show you so priya kahan pe aaye ab bro first stop in la इलेक्ट्रिक बागी विद टूर गाइड टेकिंग यू अराउंड द स्टूडियो विच आर एक्टिवली स्टिल इन यूज टूडे In fact, the day we went, they were shooting an episode for Young Sheldon. The guide will take you around to some of the most iconic places that were seen on television and film, like the back alleys used in the Spider-Man movie or the couch and the fountain in the intro song of Friends. These are just a few examples. It's unreal nostalgia when you get to see it in person. They will take you around the sound design studio, props and clothing section, and everything you need to make a movie or a show. We are not allowed to film much here, but it was too much fun. Coming to the best part of the studio, the sets of Friends, Big Bang Theory, a small Harry Potter section, and the DC World. It was a dream come true for us to visit this, as we have been watching these movies and shows since we can remember. Okay, but boy, here it is. You hide my clothes. I'm wearing everything you own. Oh my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me. I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? In the picture, that seat is close enough to the radiator to remain warm and yet not so close as to cause perspiration. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there. There, it faces the television at an angle that is neither direct, thus discouraging conversation, nor so far wide as to create a parallax distortion. I could go on, but I think I. हे गाइज सो टाइम हो रहा है शाम के 5:30 थर्टी एंड मैन वॉर्नर ब्रदर्स स्टूडियोज का टूर वॉज एब्सोलूटली इंसेन इतना मज़ा आया ना इट्स एन एक्सपीरियंस इट सेल्फ कैसे पिक्चर बनाते हैं कैसे वी एफ एक्स करते हैं साउंड डिज़ाइन करते हैं दैर इज सो मच मोर टू फिल्म मेकिंग दैन इट सीम्स एंड बस अभी शाम के टाइम पर हम लोग आए हॉलीवुड साइन राइट एल ए आए और हॉलीवुड साइन नहीं देखा तो ट्रिप तो अधूरा ही रहता है वेर एट दिस प्लेस कॉलेज लेक हॉलीवुड पार्क एंड uh, काफ़ी लोग आते हैं यहाँ पे चिल करते हैं अपने डॉग्स लेकर आते हैं इट्स वेरी क्यूट सो यू कैन कम एन्जॉय एंड सी द आइकॉनिक हॉलीवुड साइन सो काफ़ी टूरिस्ट थी चीज़ें हो गई आज एंड इसके बाद भी हम लोग जा रहे हैं ग्रिफिथ ऑब्जर्वेटरी ओके टेक्निकली इट्स अ प्लानिटेरियम एंड वहाँ पे एल का व्यू भी बहुत अच्छा है सो so, बस यहाँ के थोड़े शॉर्ट्स दिखाता हूँ फिर जाएंगे ग्रिफिथ ऑब्जर्वेटरी इट्स लाइक द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक प्लेस इन एल तो चलो आज का फर्स्ट दिन की इवनिंग वहाँ पर दिखाते हैं चलो As the sun was setting, we reached Griffith Observatory just in time. Sunset is the perfect time of the day to come here. The view from the observatory is magical as the city comes to life at night. The viewing deck of this observatory is free to visit, but parking is limited and little expensive at ten dollars per hour. If the parking lot is full, you might have to park down the road and walk up the rest of the way. After soaking in the majestic views of LA, at around 8 p.m., the telescopes of the observatory are open to the public. There will also be an astronomer who will help you look through the night sky. What you get to see depends on the day you visit. When we went, we were able to see the Saturn and its rings in real time through this large telescope. This too is a free activity. In the same building, there are exhibit and shows in a large dome theater for around ten dollars. Topics keep changing from aliens to discovery of water on other planets. If you're into astronomy, you should definitely go for this show at around eight forty-five p.m. If you're interested, I have put up a link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. With that, we said goodbye to the view and enjoyed a nice Mexican meal as LA has some of the finest Mexican food in the US. And with that, we call it a day. Hey guys, good morning. Second day in LA. Man, Uncle Griffith Observatory. Se views dekhe to itna maza aa gaya. I'm telling you, 
बेस्ट व्यूज ऑफ एल ए डेफिनेटली सनसेट के टाइम पे जाओ स्काई टर्न्स पिंक इट टर्न्स ऑरेंज इट टर्न्स रेड ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ कलर्स एंड जैसे वहाँ पे शाम होती है द सिटी जस्ट कम्स अ लाइव ओके नाइट में लाइट चालू होती है व्यूज़ ऑफ एल ए बेस्ट फ्राम ग्रिफिथ ऑब्जर्वेटरी वहाँ पे पार्किंग है अराउंड टेन डॉलर्स पर आर ओके सो वहाँ पे पहुँचो जल्दी क्योंकि पार्किंग वहाँ पे मेन एरिया में जल्दी फिलअप हो जाती है अदरवाइज यू हैव टू पार्क डाउन द रोड थोड़ा फर्स्ट डे था तो जेट लैक थोड़ा सेट इन हो रहा है अभी एंड थोड़े और बेसिक लॉजिस्टिक्स की बात कर लेते हैं राइट सो हम लोग ने गाड़ी रेंट की है ओके दैट इज़ वॉट वी डू जब भी यहाँ पे जाते हैं एंड स्पेशली यू एस में गाड़ी रेंट करके घूमने में ज़्यादा इट मेक सेंस बिकॉज अदरवाइज लोगों में वेस्टिंग लॉड ऑफ टाइम विद पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट यहाँ पे पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट कम्पेयर टू ई यू कम्पेयर टू जापान एंड एनी अदर कंट्री नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट है ओके सो यहाँ पे गाड़ी ड्राइव करके ही घूमने में पॉइंट है सो गाड़ी रेंट की है फ्राम अ कंपनी कॉल एज सिक्स इफ यू गाइज डोंट नो हाउ टू गो अराउंड एंटायर प्रोसेस इंडियन ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस के साथ एवरी एक मैंने वीडियो सेपरेट बनाया है चेक इट आउट यहाँ पर लिंक रहेगा सिम कार्ड यहाँ पर लिया है फ्राम दिस कंपनी कॉल एज टी मोबिल ओके मेक श्योर sure आप एयरपोर्ट से सिम कार्ड नहीं लेंगे ओके एयरपोर्ट पे सिम कार्ड टू टाइम्स रेट होते हैं एयरपोर्ट पे ऑफिशियल जो कंपनी से उसके ऑफिस नहीं रहते हैं थर्ड पार्टी रहते हैं सो दे आर सोस्ड आउट तो बेसिकली एयरपोर्ट से बाहर निकलो एंड एनी ऑफिस ऑफ टी मोबाइल टारगेट बेस्ट बाय यहाँ से आपको सिम कार्ड मिल जाएंगे हमने लिया है वन मंथ का प्लान अनलिमिटेड ओके सो फर्स्ट सिम कार्ड इज़ फॉर फिफ्टी डॉलर्स एंड एडिशनल सिम कार्ड इज़ फॉर थर्टी डॉलर्स प्लस टैक्सेस समझ के एटी फाइव डॉलर्स में सिम कार्ड अनलिमिटेड फाइव जी कॉलिंग एंड एस एम एस ओके सो बिकॉज वी गुड बी यूजिंग अ मैप से लॉट सो वो ले लिया हम लोग ने एंड बस आज सेकेंड डे है एंड सेकेंड डे पर अभी हम लोग जा रहे हैं यूनिवर्सल स्टूडियोज राइट एंड यूनिवर्सल स्टूडियोज बहुत सारी जगह पर है सिंगापुर में है राइट और लैंड ऑफ फ्लोरिडा में है एंड यहाँ पे एल ए में है ओके सो वी गुड बी गोइंग देर वेरी एक्साइड अबाउट द हैरी पॉटर एग्जिबिट प्रियाणा है आर sort of like potter heads to wo sab jayenge dekhenge anyways let's continue exploring la i'll see you guys at universal chalo so pasadena se around 30 minutes drive away is universal studios it's very close to warner brothers studios which we went yesterday universal studios ke tickets can be bought online and i highly recommend you do that before hand If your budget is flexible, I highly recommend you take the express lane pass, which will allow you to skip the line of the rides and attractions at least once, and you will be able to make the most of your time there. If you have not been to or don't know about Universal Studios, it's basically a theme park with rides, attractions, and vibe of some of the most popular movies and TV shows in Hollywood. You actually feel like you are on the set of that movie. Since we had already been to the Universal Studios in Singapore, some of the rides like the Mummy, Transformers, Jurassic Park, and many more were the same for us, and we did not feel a lot of FOMO when giving less time to them. Mostly, we were excited about the Harry Potter section of the park, where they have actually made a castle like Hogwarts, and have made the actual town of Hogsmeade. From the gift shop to the food to the rides to the music playing when you are walking, everything is precisely based on the films. I cannot even begin to describe it. Just check it out for yourself and feel the vibe. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon, you foul and loathsome and evil little cockroach. Hermione, no! You're going to take someone's eye out. Well, you can tell Ron. I'm not an owl. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing. Honestly, don't be too rude. Okay. You are spotted. No, you can't. This entire experience is nothing like you've ever seen before, and it's a must-do when you are in LA. After all the rides, we just enjoyed a few drinks at the park, relaxed for a bit, went to Walmart to pick up a few things for the rest of the trip. After that, we enjoyed some Japanese food and called it a day, as we were super tired. Hey guys, so LA me morning me subeh subeh utke we come to this place called as Malibu. Malibu is like one big marine drive. Okay, all properties beachside hai, beachside houses, hotels, restaurants, 
एवरीथिंग इज बीच साइड ओके एंड क्या ब्यूटीफुल वाइब है यहाँ पे लोग सर्फिंग के लिए आते हैं सुबह सुबह ब्रेकफास्ट के लिए आते हैं यहाँ पे लाइव सी फूड अमेजिंग है लाइक एंड यू कैन सी पहली केन एंड एवरीथिंग इफ यू गाइज हैव बिन वॉचिंग द शो टू एंड हाफ मैन ये पूरी उसी याद दिला देगा बिकॉज इट्स ऑल प्रॉपरली मैलेबू एरिया में पूरा शॉर्ट था तो पूरी पूरी यादें ताज़ा हो रही है यहाँ पे एंड वेव्स आर लाइक इन सेन ओके जिस लुक एट दिस साउंड ऑफ द वेव जिस लुक एट ऑल दैट पूरे रेलिंग हिल जाती है पीपल आर कमिंग फॉर सर्फिंग बहुत अच्छी वाइब है मॉर्निंग में एंड बस हम लोग दैट इज़ वॉट वी डिड सुबह उठ के थोड़ा ड्राइव किया ऑन दिस ब्यूटिफुल पोस्टल हाईवे डैम डैम सो ब्यूटिफुल पोस्टल हाईवे पर ड्राइव किया एंड बस यहाँ पे थोड़ा बैठे हैं यहाँ पे एक पार्किंग है एंड पेयर जाएंगे यहाँ पे एक मैलेबो पेयर है उसके बाद हम लोग को ऑल्सो जाना है मेन सैंडा मोनिका पेयर एंड वेनिस बीच तो आज का प्लान यही है ड्रोन शॉट एंजॉय करो एंड आगे के और बीचेस देखते हैं चलो After Malibu, we again drove down this very scenic coastal road to reach Santa Monica Pier. It is by far one of the most famous places in LA. It's basically a large wooden boardwalk that stretches into the ocean. It is so big that it houses an amusement park, a roller coaster, so many restaurants and cafes, an aquarium, and just lots of open spaces for people to come and chill. All this with a breathtaking view of the Pacific Ocean. It's such a perfect place for people of all ages to come and just have a good time. After spending a couple of hours here, next we went to Venice Beach, which is very close to the pier. Located in the heart of Los Angeles, Venice Beach is a vibrant and colorful neighborhood known for its laid-back vibe and a very creative spirit. As we walk down the boardwalk, you'll see street performers, artists, and vendors selling everything from handmade jewelry to handmade surfboards. One of the most iconic features of Venice Beach is a skate park, where you'll see skateboards and BMX riders showing off their skills. But the beach itself is also a draw with its soft sand and crystal clear waters. Whether you want to swim, surf or just relax in the sun, Venice Beach has something for everyone. I see so many people coming here to just go for a jog, to cycle, and it's so cool that the local government has built showers, changing room, and so many amenities that the locals can enjoy. This is the perfect place to watch the sunset in LA. Just sit in a nice cafe and watch the sun go down. After thoroughly enjoying the coastal line of LA from Malibu to Venice Beach, it's now time to do some discounted shopping. All over the US, on the outskirts of major cities, there are outlet malls. Basically, malls with shops of some of the most famous clothing and accessory brands. But all this at extremely discounted prices. From Nike to Prada, think of all the brands you can and all of them are here and everything at very very cheap prices. Sometimes even more than 50% off. So if you need some retail therapy come to this place called as Citadel Outlet Mall and get an empty bag to shop like you have never shopped before 
we got so much stuff that we had to buy an extra bag just for the shopping as we could not fit it in our main luggage. So you can just imagine. After all the shopping, time to chill and have some dinner. For an authentic local experience, you have to come to the Grand Central Market, one of the oldest places in LA where the local food scene started back in the day. Even today, it has some of the best street food LA has to offer. From Thai to classic American dishes, this food court has it all. So sample a little bit of everything and call it a day. For Depe, first thing in the morning, we went to this place called as the Hollywood Walk of Fame. For those of you who may not know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a sidewalk that stretches for over 15 blocks. It's home to over 2600 stars, each one honoring a celebrity or a public figure for their contributions to the entertainment industry. Another iconic spot on the Walk of Fame is the movie theatre. This historic movie place has been around since 1927 and has played host to some of Hollywood's biggest film premieres. Even today, there is an entire red carpet event for the launch of movies. Just to... Priya, where are we right now? We are in Hollywood ke smack center. Mein hai. Hollywood oh, it looks of fame. And we are in Dolby Digital Theater. Ke so basically, we are here. We uh, okay, so basically, here are the red carpet events, the movie premieres, the theatre is the Dolby Theatre. And here is the limousine, here is the red carpet, and all the pads are coming and everybody goes like, hi, hello. Nice, nice. Just a word of caution, as this is one of the most touristy places in LA, it is home to some tourist camps. People here will be dressed up in costumes of movie characters, for example, dressed as Spider-Man. They will just come and take a selfie with you, even without you asking for it. After that, they will ask for a tip, and the one you give might not be enough for them, and it can get ugly. So if you don't want it, just say no in the first place. Apart from that, it's a must-visit place, and also has one of the best shops for souvenir shopping in LA. After that, we went to one of the most famous and expensive neighborhoods, not only in LA, but in the world. Welcome to Beverly Hills. So Priya, where did we come from the Walk of Fame Hollywood Walk of Fame? So after that, we have come to one of the most expensive places in the country, in the world. Mein. This is uh, called Rodeo Drive, which is in Beverly Hills. Mein hai. And here, all the world's expensive brands like uh, Gucci, Armani, Fendi, Ralph Lauren, Christian Louboutin, Saint Lawrence, YSL, everything is available. And clearly, like we know the brand, we have to pay for the money. This is by far one of the most expensive places to live in. It's home to celebrities and some of the wealthiest people in the world. First of all, there's a neighborhood where you can drive through and that is what we did. Just driving around the streets here is too much fun. In 2022, the average cost of a home here was $3.3 million, which is equal to 27 crore rupees. So you can just imagine. The houses here are glamorous and so are the cars parked outside. Apart from the residential area, there is also a commercial area called as Rodeo Drive, which has some of the most exclusive, expensive, high-end shops, restaurants and hotels. In fact, in one of the stores, I read that you need an appointment just to visit the store, let alone buy anything. Just walking around this area is too much fun and it's free, don't worry about that. And for lunch, there is a fast food outlet called as Shake Shack where you can just sit, 
Have a nice meal and watch the expensive cars go by. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive. After having some lunch at Beverly Hills, we went to this place called as the Grove Mall. It's such a unique place. It's basically an open to air mall with lots of retail shops, restaurants, cafes and the original farmers market of LA. It's perfect for some discount shopping, sampling some local food at the market and just a very happening place with street performers doing their bits in the open air theater. Very cool vibe and it's a perfect place to see how the locals go about their lives over the weekend. And for the last stop, at night, you have to go to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. After the Grove Street Mall, where are we from? This is not the museum, it is just a part of the museum. The so museum, museum is shut right now. Museum, museum is there. It's a huge red building. Like it's a building with a lot of red lights. Correct. And it's beautiful. And it's not, it doesn't look like a straight building. It's like a huge horizontal, beautifully Haan. made artistic building. So this is also part of it, right? Yeah, so this is a part of it. And this is one of the most famous touristy spots because ये बहुत सारी English movies में feature होता है। जैसे? Like No Strings Attached and beautiful. चाहेगी वहाँ पे अभी? हाँ चलो। चलो। If you reach before 8 p.m., you can go inside, but they have art exhibits outside the museum as well, which come alive at night. One such exhibit is the urban light art installation. It's such a cool place to come at night. Just sit in the corner and just enjoy the lights. And for dinner, we went to this place called as Olive Garden. It's an Italian chain of restaurant which is very famous in the US. And I can see why. The food was delicious and the quantity was very hearty. At least once during your trip, definitely come to Olive Garden for a meal. Finally, on the last day, we went to Disneyland. I honestly do not know how should I go about describing this place. The entire thing, from beginning to end, is honestly a once-in-lifetime experience. To begin with, you need to know that Disneyland is massive, and normally locals take three to five days to thoroughly enjoy this place. In fact, the tickets are sold in such manner. Unless you are quick on your feet and have decent stamina, do not even attempt to experience Disneyland in one day. Unfortunately, since we had only one day, we took the Genie Plus service, which will let you access to the Lightning Lanes for rides and attractions. Basically, pay more to skip the lines. But this can be done only once for one ride at a time. This entire system is integrated into Disney's very own app, where you can book slots in real time for rides and attractions and use the app to get in. If you're not tech friendly, do not attempt this as it is a little complicated. Disneyland is divided into two different parks. And normally tickets for both are sold separately. But if you want to visit both on the same day, you have to take the park hopper ticket, which will allow you to go to the other park after 1 p.m. on the day you want to visit. So for people like me who had just one day, Genie Plus with park hopper ticket would be the best. But the tickets are expensive, so make your own combination. I won't be able to show you all the rides and attractions but my favorite was the Avenger Campus. For all you Marvel fans, this place is Candyland. From Spider-Man to Guardians of Galaxy, this place has rides, attractions, shows to mostly all Marvel characters. Food, music and souvenirs are all theme based on the entire Marvel comic universe. Hey! Oh. Oh, holy cow! You will not believe what's been going on. Do you remember when we were in space and I got all dusty? And I must have passed out because I woke up and you were gone. But Doctor Strange was there, right? He was like, 
It's been five years. Come on, they need us. And then he started doing the yellow sparkly thing that he does all the time. What are you doing? After the first park, at around 4 pm, we hopped to the main park. This place has some of the most famous rides you must have heard Space Mountain, Incredicoaster, It's a Small World, and many, many more. The highlight for me was the Star Wars section of Disneyland. I am a massive Star Wars fan since my first movie, The Phantom Menace. Ever since, I have been hooked to the entire series. They have made this area so well. It's basically a recreation of the planet Tatooine. Star Wars fans will get the reference. From restaurants to gift shops to the rides, you feel like you are living and breathing Star Wars. It is even better at night as even the walls have lights and make noises as you walk through. The gift shop is also so unique. Parts roll in on a conveyor belt and you can make your own droid to take back home. You can even make and customize your own lightsaber. You can take a ride on the Millennium Falcon and take a journey to fight Darth Vader. The list of things to do is just endless. I can come to LA again just for this. Hey guys, so with that, come to the end of five beautiful days in LA. Man, what a city, uh, what a vibe. There's so much the city has to offer. We had five days, and in five days, we have just scratched the surface of this metropolis. Like, as much as I researched, I only did 40 50% of it just to say 40-50% because I wanted to go to so many places, but time, distances, traffic, Priorities are so different that we couldn't do it. But like always, I tell you our recommendations. I always tell you that we will come here and we will be in the description box. You know, these are all places to go. You can go to these places. If you have missed it, then definitely come to LA, enjoy the vibe. There are a lot of parallels between LA and Mumbai. A lot of multicultural people. Very open, very welcoming. There is a beach. Traffic is very bad. And mountains are in the same way. And a lot of very hardworking people, बोलने के लिए very expensive भी हैं। There's lot more to LA than meets the eye। सब एक बहुत glamorous नहीं है, ऐसा नहीं कि everything is just glamour Hollywood। This one percent of the population lives like that। Otherwise यहाँ पे मुझे poverty भी बहुत दिखी है। A lot of homeless people। Okay, struggle बहुत है। Like for average middle class American, average middle class जो यहाँ पे रहते हैं, उन लोगों के लिए struggle बहुत है। And बस next यहाँ से निकल रहे हैं, just last में थोड़ी shopping कर रहे हैं। यहाँ पे Pasadena के छोटे से एक outlet पे चीज pick up करनी थी। so we're just picking that up and next we are just driving to Vegas and next video is going to be all about that. Anyways, until next time, stay safe, keep on traveling. I'll see you guys very soon.